High Revs Media is sponsored by Born to Ride Motorcycle Magazine. Check out borntoride.com. Right, guys don't forget you can get $25 off of ceramic coating the armor shield 9 from Avalon King uh, by putting high revs 25 in at checkout at avalonking.com <laughs> Alright guys, so we're working on the Camaro today and what we're doing is actually putting in this Alpine ILX W650, which is the exact one that was in the C6 Camaro we had a couple years ago. And uh, that's the actual frame that goes on the C6. So that's got to come off. And uh, this is the new dash kit for the Camaro. That's the part number there. I'll link uh, everything in the description. Uh, but this is a, these are great radios. So see how everything mounts up. Got a few things here just to make sure we're good to go. First thing I wanna do though, is these are the hood bumpers in here and this car just happened to be missing them for some reason. So one goes there, then one goes over here. So. Get those installed, be a little better. Still gotta get some more cleaning on this thing. So I've actually washed it since I got it. So gotta do some more cleaning. It's not terrible, but definitely need to clean it up some more. All right, those are installed. So I opened and closed it a few times, got them adjusted a little bit. Uh, so now it's time to move on to the radio. So this one has an aftermarket radio in it, um, which might make it a little bit easier, um, hopefully. Uh, but I'm gonna pull all this out. The first thing I'm gonna do is take this trim piece off all the way and it essentially just pops out kind of nice and easy. Some of these clips will end up breaking off. Seems like that happens to everybody. Um, then we just gotta start detaching this stuff back here. Go from there. All right, so here's the back side. These are the clips. And those are just kind of twisted on here. And try to be as careful as you can and untwist them see if you can keep it from breaking that um there's a few of them on here and then these have to pop out also that's a little nameplate this is the 35th anniversary nameplate but it should just snap right out of there there she goes no issues there that came right off and then these have another little mechanism on the side here those kind of pull out from the side and let loose of these. This one has a, I guess, a, a non-working alarm light that was in there. And there is a, another plug here, which is, I'm guessing, for the automatic stability control. Uh, but the button's not there. So I don't know if that disables it or, or not, or if I should add the button back, but uh, we'll look into that. And then there's the fog light button. So all that snaps out of there. And then you gotta get these out. And these snap in a certain way. Those those clips will have to be moved over also. And uh, let's see. These just kind of snap through here like that. They just push in from the front. So you can kind of see that this one snap. There we go. So it's kind of come out really easy. So this is the new one right here in my hand. And I've 
seen where some other people were complaining about the texture and there, there really isn't much of a texture. This is more of just a satin black. And I guess you could repaint this and add a texture to it. Um, but I still don't think it's gonna look bad. I mean, I, I don't think anybody's gonna say, oh man, that texture is weird because there's so many different textures from the factory. I mean, every single panel in here has a different looking texture to it from one to the other. So, I mean, does it really matter in a 90s or early 2000s Camaro? I mean, honestly. So I think this actually looks a little better <laughs> than the stock one, but I really don't think it's that noticeable. So anyways, just wanted to mention that. All right, everything snapped back into this one super easy. I mean, it just dropped right into place. No issues there. So I think that's gonna be good. And I actually ended up moving the 35th anniversary one over to the middle here instead of just being there. That kind of looks better to me, but uh, it's easy to be changed. This snaps right out. So that is good. The next thing to do is move the rest of these clips over. All right, clips have been moved over and these are a softer plastic and there's, there's no threads. Now you can see there's some threads on here now. Uh, that's from me screwing these on when you, they just like dig in and cut their own threads. And uh, so it's really pretty tight um, and you can do it, but man, it's, it's getting a little rough on the fingers. So if you've got some lines on there, you just gotta get in there and just twist them around. So that kind of, kind of rough, but you can do it. All right, guys, these two bolts are seven millimeter. Those will pop out of there. We'll pull the radio out and see what we got. All right, so this one um, is probably gonna be a little different than yours. Uh, this thing has this RF modulator and a couple other things um, to make. This thing's got DVD players in the back, which don't currently work. And I don't feel like messing with those to try to make them work. Um, but essentially you're just matching colors with colors here. So I'm just gonna redo that. But essentially you're just tying same colors here as your plug onto your factory harness. Um, and this one's, like I said, was a kind of a jumbled mess of wires. I'm just gonna have to figure that out. Um, but I'm gonna leave everything hooked up the same, but just make it the new radio. Um, sometimes you get lucky enough to have the same plug, uh, depending on what you're doing. Uh, they're getting more uh, common to have more of the same type of plug. That one actually looks really close. Um, so it could be close to the same. And if it is, you can just plug it in and it works. Of course, this one goes into a um, late model Camaro one, I mean Corvette one. So I don't know that that would work uh, anyways. Uh, but if that's the same, I might just be able to plug the one that's in, in here. So we'll try that. All right, guys, I got the radio in place and the brackets, you can see how far back I had to slide them and really stick this radio out here. A lot of people have complained there's a gap around the radio and I think it's because they're setting these back so far that there is a huge gap and you can mount that thing anywhere in that slider you want to. And these are really thin, so I mean, you can you can set them back or as, or as far out as you want. And these screws right here were not in the bag. There is a little bag of screws that comes with this thing, but they're actually to screw this in place, a little tray here, so that you can go back to a single den, um, which I guess it would be nice to have a tray there, but but then you have to have to deal with a single den radio. Um, so using the double den, uh, like I said, those screws I ended up having, I don't know if they were stock or they came with this radio or what they were, because they were on the other brackets, but they ended up working out great. Uh, and I didn't need those other screws because these set perfect into the the depth of the disc or the I guess it's not a CD player, but the of the radio rather. Um, and now I'm going to get the faceplate mounted up, and essentially it's just pushing them in until the snaps click in place all the way around, and uh, hook these wires back up as you do that. All right, guys, there's the radio. Everything snapped into place and. That looks pretty good to me. Um, like I said, it's got a small gap around it, but that's completely normal. It just matters where you adjust the radio. I don't think it has anything to do with uh, the fault of this. I think it's where you mount it at um, uh, inside the cage there that, that matters. But I think that looks pretty good. Um, it doesn't look like 
completely out of place or nothing. And it makes, you know, everything look much more updated. Have a nice screen in there. And uh, I think that's gonna work. I'll show you the Apple CarPlay stuff in a second. See, it does work. Awesome. All right, guys, last thing for the interior now is the Hearst white ball. Man, that thing looks so good. Awesome. It's a lot better than the old original Hearst shifter. It's pretty worn out. So, gonna hang on to it. But uh, it's nice having the new Hearst white ball on there. Looks so much better. I love muscle cars with Hearst white balls on them. Always looks good. Time to get out and play. Amsoil delivers the ultimate protection for your vehicles and equipment. Fast free shipping right to your door. Spend $100 and shipping is on us. Order now at amsoil.com.